Hi everyone, I'm Rafael from the business engineer team at Meta. And today I want to share a new feature that will change the way business interact with the customers on WhatsApp. This new feature will allow users to open business link without leaving the WhatsApp app. Before we dive into details, let's take a look on what we'll be covering today. We will start with an overview of the solution, then move to a rationale behind it, and finally perform a technical overview of this new feature. Well, data show us that more than half of the market message on WhatsApp include links that point to websites or apps. This means that businesses are missing out on opportunities to engage with the customers in a more meaningful way, just because of the friction caused by app switching. That is where this new feature comes into place. To highlight the benefits of this feature, in terms of security, users will be able to view, interact, and complete transactions without leaving WhatsApp. Performance improvement can also be expected by reducing the drop-off caused by app switching. Businesses will be able to provide a unique experience for the users to consume within WhatsApp. And regarding the availability, this feature will be available for links on marketing and utility templates, and the rollout is user-based. It's already available for some WhatsApp users right now. From the user experience point of view, the template message will look exactly the same, as you can see in the first image. The experience only starts after the user clicks on the call to action button. After clicking on the button, the experience will open up in the full screen from the bottom of the device, allowing users to interact with the loaded content. In the first time users are exposed to this experience, WhatsApp will show a disclosure about the feature, as you can see in the last image. It will explain the feature to your user and provide a link for help center in case of further questions. In terms of navigation, WhatsApp will follow the industry standard for browse navigation. Users will be able to use gesture control to refresh and to navigate back and forth. Buttons will also be available on the bottom of the device to navigate through pages and under the top menu to refresh the current page. From the business point of view, this feature will be automatically available for your clients once they are accomplished by the rollout. It is important to highlight here that no new metric is being introduced with this new feature. Now focus on the benefits for businesses. The new experience will allow businesses to customize their journey for WhatsApp users. Users will be able to minimize and return to the chat thread at any time. Users can remain logged on your system and resume the experience from where they left off. Business can also provide a nominee chain of experience by using the WhatsApp to continue a journey that a user starts on other surfers. Imagine that you can drive your user to a recommend product as you can see in the image. This feature is compatible with app deep links, allowing business to interact with other apps available on the user's device. As you can see in the example, deep links can be used to complete end-to-end -end journeys. At the end of a journey, business will have the capability of closing the window to return the user back to the chat thread. Now looking at the technical aspect of this solution, WhatsApp will provide a custom user agent for this web experience. Businesses will be able to identify website traffic coming from the WhatsApp experience versus other browsers. These unlock a set of new opportunities of a design experience that will be available only on WhatsApp. Looking at the device hardware usage, native browser libraries will be available for requesting access to device hardware. Camera access can be used to scan QR code, take photos and videos. Location access can be used to customize the experience based on user's location. As you can see in this example, the geolocation API is available for business to ask user permission to access the device location. 
On the right, you can see an example where a page requests the user location and show the coordinates back to the user. You can see in the image that users will have to go through the native permission request window to share with the business. And on the left, you can see new use cases that will be available. For instance, the get user location, track user movement, allowing business to track movement over time, including speed and direction, geofencing, enable business to define virtual boundaries around specific locations, and location-based servers. Provide the users with location-based servers, such as nearby points of interest. We are also compatible with the Media Device API. Businesses can request access to device cameras. You can see in the example the usage of a Media Device API to capture a live stream from the camera and show it to the user. As you can see on the left, new use cases that will be available with this API. Access camera and microphone, enabling business to capture photos, record videos or audio clips. You can manipulate some media constraints, controlling the resolution, the frame height, and the aspect ratio. Media stream manipulation is also available, being able to apply filters, effects, in real time, and many other like to scan QR codes and proof of liveness. So to wrap up things we covered today, users will be able to open links without leaving the WhatsApp app. This new experience will allow business to reduce attrition on current use cases that rely on links. Web API can be used to enhance the user experience. We have a bunch of possibilities using camera, location, and session. And there is a user-based rollout. So some of the users are already seeing this new experience. And going back to the beginning of the presentation, we should keep in mind that more than half of the market message relies on links. Meta is providing a business good opportunity to improve user journey and drive more value on WhatsApp. If you want to know more about the WhatsApp API features, please visit developers.meta.com. Thank you.